Hello everyone, welcome to the commentary track for Horrors from Bimpo Squared, or Horrors from Bimpo 2. Yep, it's us, James Edwards and... And Jude Edwards. And yeah, we made we're the, this... We're the directors... Of this film. Yeah. And writers, I'm using quotations, because we didn't write anything for this. We basically, yeah, it's a it's a half-half thing. Yeah, um, what you're seeing now is a little thing that we filmed, well, that you filmed previously. Yeah, this is part of the old one, the swooping. Yeah. Um, this was actually in the old... Swooping. Oh, uh, yeah, shots back yeah. There, so. And this kill was actually from a time where I wanted to make the oh, swooping too. God. This is, Sorry for that, that was the worst shot in the whole, yeah. whole movie. By the way, guys, this is supposed to be bad. You would have known by now, hopefully. Yeah. But, yeah, um... I wanted to make the swooping two feature length, so I just added some kills from that in because I didn't want to just waste them. Yeah. Um, a few accidental references, like the Psycho reference kind of a thing, even though there's no kill or anything, but... Even though, like, neither of us had seen Psycho at that point. Yeah. Yeah. And then the nice window fade out, which was supposed to that was supposed to be the day after that, and he was going to drive a car yeah. and do this crazy shit. And the intro credits I roll. I love, I love these intro credits, because I, I made them. I just literally, if you want to know how I did it, I just got my phone and then pressed play on the camera and just like, mo like, just ran it along this carpet like really quickly. Yeah. And that's how it was made. And I, I just, literally I just was, slowed down the. Footage. I was just watching him do it. I'm like, the fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's just like. I just slowed down the footage and it, it looks. I mean, it doesn't look good, but. Oh, yeah. Some of the stuff in this movie actually ended up looking pretty, pretty cool, and pretty good, but a majority of it is bad, and some of it's actually so. Like, a bad movie, but a good concept. Like, security footage could be a movie, which I'm assuming you've seen the movie at this point. Yeah, if you're listening to the commentary track, then you obviously have seen it. Yeah, or, you, or you're just that bored, you want to watch a commentary track for some entertainment, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it is. So, funny. yeah, the first movie on this is The Swooping 2, Electric Cockatoo, which is... <laughs> we made... By the way, guys, we made the first half of this in one day, we made the second half in the other day. Oh, my God. And, uh, yeah, that's really... We ran out of ideas for a while, guys. Yeah, we uh, were stumped for ideas this whole time. We yeah. were desperately trying to make it feature length. The only it, ba it barely is. The only like things we knew we were gonna do is more groper and more swooper. Well, the swooping. Um but yeah. Oh man. I remember I don't know, this scene is just dumb. <laughs> this whole thing is stupid. Yeah. But uh I don't know. You know how they say first the worst, second the best? Well, not for this movie, because the second kill in this movie is the worst kill in the whole movie. Oh. Alright, so, this was really fun to film, by the way. The swooping's just a fun thing to do. Oh my god. And you can tell when it's me and when it's him, because... Like, you make different... Yeah. You make different noises as a bird. I, I don't know why, but I actually do a pretty good bird voice, in my opinion. Yeah, do it for but, us right now. Give us a bird noise. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And I was just going... Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Have you noticed before, there was actually a penguin, so that was a slight, yeah, slight change. And there was one scene in this whole entire swooping series, which isn't, which is just colour for some reason. Yeah. But there's like the smoke, so you kind of confu get confused for a bit. But, that's, yeah. the, that's the worst shot in this whole movie. The, I hate it. Yeah. And it's definitely the worst kill, but we've got to put it in here. It's pretty cringe. It's pretty fun. Um, yeah. Even though it looks so dumb, I love it when the bird is just mainly focused on the bird and everything else looks like it's kind of, you know, within. Yeah. Like, like our, for our just focus. It's like good cinematography for a shit movie. But, um, yeah. Oh, man. By the way, it still looks so bad. this was entirely shot in our phones, mainly my phone. Yeah. A bit on his phone and a bit on a GoPro. So... Well, one thing was filmed on a GoPro. Yeah. And, um, yeah. But... We didn't want to. We I have a good camera for like future films and stuff, but we don't want to make this good for absolutely no reason. Yeah. What's the point? And it's oh, just shirt, easier. Shirtless Jude. Oh. Yeah, it's just easy to get clips off on the phone. So if you want to know what the technical thing is, we do. And we literally just edited it on like iMovie. <laughs> we we you, I usually personally use iMovie because I know how to use it good. People think it's shit, but it's actually alright. And um. Bird's dead. Yeah. If but you've seen Horrors Through Bimpo, then you know that there are fake filmmakers who made these movies. Yeah, and Jimmy. Because that was more than half of the first one was just us pretending to be people, and it was so, so bad. Yeah. Um, so, it, Jimmy Mirod is just... Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just a bit of a... Well, that's his character, but being a dickhead. Oh, Groper 3. We're going to get cancelled for this one, James. Yeah, guys. Um. Yeah, this is all meant to be a joke. Yeah, right? Don't take it seriously. We're not joking about, yeah. like, groping and stuff. We're just, like, commentating on, yeah. on horror movies and sexual violence in horror movies because it's just... Yeah. So we're just making fun so of we're funny. We're making fun of movies, yeah. Yeah. A lot of these are ac- accidentally making fun of real horror movies. But then a lot is intentional as well. Yeah. Like this, someone's finally standing up to the groper. You know, it's kind of yeah. like standing up to the biggest fear, just some guy's hand. Yeah, feminists don't come after us for this movie. As you can see, it definitely will after you said that. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. this is one of the funniest parts right here. Yeah. And I'm the. Just... Best thing ever is coming up. So. Got my door shut, rocking that. And then you just, you just, you just oh see my, that. Oh. That is going to be one of the worst things in the movie, but it's so funny. I man. remember when you showed me that edit, and I actually yeah, you like died he actually shot himself first. True story. Yeah, um, I just coughed because like I was sick like a week before, and I just coughed was so hard. Like, I was laughed. trying to laugh, and then but I just, just died. Had a coughing fit. Ugh, it feels me. weird not filming part of this movie today. Yeah. Oh, I'm just glad we're done. It's, but yeah, it's the fourth movie. Should we tease a little something? Made. Should we tease a little something? Uh, no. Should we tease? No, 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 thank you. Why? This is the commentary, oh. no, not an announcement. Oh, man. Like, this is where the groper ends. This is the end of it. That That's it. It's gone. So the groper's still living at this point in time. But, yeah, this, I, the... The swooper, let's call him the swooper. His death is probably the dumbest death. Because he's being thrown, destroyed. And you're telling me he gets stamped on and he's like... Ugh. Oh, man. That swooper... We just really wanted to get rid of it. Like, we, we just wanted to stop making sequels and shit, so... That swooper kill where the bird just, like... You'd, like, literally just move your head into the bird. Thing. Yeah. That's the dumbest thing ever. Yeah. Now, this is the stalker, and it's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, um, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You see him hiding. And the most obvious hiding. The funniest ever. thing ever is it's supposed to be like at the start, it's supposed to be like really quiet. And then you just see him walk out and you just, he's, as you're about to see, he'll just slam the gate. It's just as loud as you can be. And it's. Yeah. By the way, guys, we've only ever watched this movie ourselves the whole way through once. Yeah. Which was just before this commentary a little bit, so we just got it in our head. This is already a million times better than the first horror movie, though. Yeah. It's there's just. The other one had too much like random stuff. Jimmy was fun at first behind the scenes stuff yeah. but he just got a bit boring after that especially with both the directors clicked in yeah even the it's... interviews were pretty boring so yeah. this is just an improvement it's still supposed to be bad but it's it's like at least fun bad exactly. it's not just what the you know boring bad yeah it's stupid <laughs> oh man oh he's gonna jump <laughs> yeah he, he literally he didn't even jump that was just his arm going over because it's strapped to his arm or some shit i don't know Guys, there's no, like, we make up our own kind of concepts for what we think the continuity of these are. Yeah, nothing, um, nothing makes sense. Let, each all. one of these movies is 100, like, or 50 or 100 years later than the other one. Yeah. And it's just it's a new weird. owner, it's a new owner of the house, it's just a new horror movie. Yeah. None of it makes sense. None of it makes sense, but it's, it's we, we come up with something so you can kind of make something out of it. This is As you can see there, we nearly got the the funniest kill. I just, I just stop, I just stop walking in the middle of the I couldn't tell if you were going to ask me to cut at this point. Like, I'm stuck here. <laughs> oh, man. There was, uh, we were supposed to do another take of this, but we just didn't, and we just chucked that in. That's it. I love these time cards as well. They're so abrupt. Like, some of them are louder than others. They're so loud. He edited the title cards and stuff, and, and um, like the title sequences. The title sequences and the credits and stuff. I edited the ma- majority of the movie. The only, he, and you major- you made some of, like, the, uh, what was those other short films? The art stuff. He edited... No, some of this. Um, um, oh, yeah, some of the... It was Bongola Shmongola, yeah. which you'll see soon. That's what he edited, and then yeah. everything else was... And yes, if you're wondering if Ashley was involved, of course he was. You, if you saw the beginning of this... He's in it for a glimpse, yeah. He was in it for a second, and he'll be in it uh, later on, if you're lucky. Um, this is really stupid. <laughs> I love the edit, though, because like, yeah. he's pulling on it, and then it takes a long time for him to react to it. By the way, guys, I wanted to edit this dumb, but not super dumb. Like, I wanted it to look like <laughs> someone is bad at editing, kind of. But at times, it's good. At times, yeah. it's actually good. Some stuff actually I, gets good, I so, think. The editing isn't even 
bad except for like a two few transitions but i just want it to be very simplistic and then at times to be too complicated for absolutely no reason exactly like circle out and like some dumb stuff for like you know for the sake of it i guess you could say uh oh my God. yeah so this guy just didn't notice him lying on the ground yeah i remember we were filming this like throughout filming we just thought what if you just like look somewhere where the person isn't and then you cut to the other person and yeah. they're looking somewhere else and then when you cut back to the other person they're somewhere there's so many times when we look at the so camera. much continuity errors like on purpose when we get to the bean bag yeah. or whatever that's called then you'll see because that's like the funniest stuff in the movie I love how this guy just gets angry for absolutely no reason he asks us to put him in the mail because like already Kent yeah. and just instantly gets mad it's not that he's saying Kent though so we can get away with it yeah Clark Kent yeah, yeah. you just reference some DC comics Detective yeah, Comics comics. Literally. Oh man, what an epic kill. You just like, just punch me dead. Like, you punch me from that way, and then I fly <laughs> to the way that you punch me from. Yeah, I know. The f- <laughs> and then I love this photo, and then just, I, I made it, I made it so the aspect ratio, you can just see oh. the formation. It's oh, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> and here's the original driving. Driving, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, this was fun. I always love filming car stuff. Yeah, not because it's like easy. Well, it's part of it, but none of it any none of it ever looks realistic. But it's just fun to film in a car. Yeah, we want to eventually make make a remake of our uh, tunnel vision, tunnel vision, or other short film. And we're making a uh, well, we won't say the other one yet because yeah, we gotta so. we gotta make a trailer and all that for the other one. But let's just say these two are gonna be in an actual car, and they're gonna be. We're going to be driving and stuff, so it's going to be really fun to film. Yeah. And it's actually really realistic and good this time. This is just, it's supposed to be bad, so we don't care. Even if we could drive at this point, we wouldn't have. <laughs> it's just, yeah. there's no point. It's very... This is pretty fun to film, and I didn't actually know when I was going to attack him, man. A fun fact is, I was holding a huge sneeze in this whole entire time. <laughs> and I just didn't want to, because you were like, I don't know, would have fucked it up, so. Yeah. And I, mean... I like the one take feel, so. I mean, you can always reshoot it, but yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. I, was, I was at this point, I was like already bored, mm. so I wanted to just. Um. Yeah, there was at least like a minute at most cut out of this movie because I had to delete a few things for some reason, and also just a few things were lost, but yeah. they weren't any things to do with the actual story. They were just like clips for things. This is like twelve seconds longer than the original. Yeah. So we can still say, oh, it's longer than the original. The, without all the edits and stuff that I had to do, it would have been like just three, um, an hour and two, three minutes. It would have been three hours. Yeah, but... Hashtag release the James cut of Horace Mimpo 2. Where are those other two hours at, James? So do you prefer the driving original or remake? Um, depends. I reckon the remake's, the remake's more... Than it's got more to it. This is, They're both just as funny as each other, though. Yeah. Um... Like, this one you go to a party, the other one I'm going home. It's yeah, they're, it, they're very different. Yeah, they're different. They've got the same concept, but they're very different. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, and we wanted to make the kills in this movie like really over the top, really like or just, just dumb, just dumb. I say that. We we didn't have like heaps of kills. There was only one kill with actual gore. Yeah, you'll see that in a bit. That's like probably the best. Yeah. Kill. That's probably the best kill in the movie, honestly. And it's still not great. Yeah. But yeah. So you can just see, still here. Um, fun fact about this, I actually thought he was gonna turn the light off near here. Yeah. And I, I was like, oh yeah, we'll just let him do it. And then he didn't, and I was like, oh, it'd be a bit weird if I just leant upwards to turn it off. On... Yeah. So I just kind of left it in, and it still looks fine as it is. I do like the brake lights. Even though you can see the garage, it just yeah. looks cool. Like with the red. I just like, it's just so dumb. And you get, like, even when the freaking red goes on it, it just makes it even more obvious that you're in a garage. Yeah, I know. Because it shines on the garage door. It's like, kind of the worst angle to film from, but that was the only thing we could do to stop yeah. knowing that something's in the back seat. Yeah. Because if you film from the other way... I mean, you could have hidden the other back seat, but... Yeah. Then you wouldn't have had me in the whole frame. Yeah. Which, like, I'm the main character, so... I'm literally just sitting there right now holding a sneezing, guys, so... And then I eventually hold it in enough to get rid of oh, it. And oh. that's when you see the first first car kill of this film. <sighs> Which, yeah, there'll be more. There's, like, two more, actually. I wanted to, like, keep holding for way too long, and then you just started falling, so I was like, eh, I might as well let go. 
And then that's where I thought you were going to turn the light off when you were going like that and shit. It, it looks cool though, the fade out. Yeah. The bongo the shmongo. This is Ashley's directed one. This is the one he made. Did he edit it, this? Yeah, he, edit. edit, he edited this really quick thing. It's like so, seven seconds. We're not going to count as like executive or anything because it was literally like... It was a special guest director. Special guest. I mean, he still produced the movie, but you know. Oh my god. He was in a fucking... And then I... Re- here we go. I remade it. Just for this fun. This is my remake, yeah. I just wanted to be... Hit- I just wanted him to be in it more because, you know, part of the Juice Gang trio, so this is my take on the Bongola Smongola. Um, yeah. Yeah, this took, this took way too long to set up, actually. I, I wanted to keep get the red light inside the skull, but yeah. it was too big, so I couldn't fit it. Wow. So I ended up just doing that and making it, like, to edit, edit the colour grading, and it looks so bad. Yeah. Look at, you can tell that's the same shot, but it zoomed in. Yeah. Oh my god. So stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? what? It's so, yeah. Okay. No. Oh, is this Batman v Superman? What? Yeah, this is. Thanks to Zack Snyder for when, funding this movie. When I made so. this, I wanted to end the Groper series and <laughs> the Blinker series as a whole. Even so I just thought, let's have a crappy duel. There Even was only though... one Blinker. Yeah, well. I don't know, I was never going to bring Binkler back, but I was like, I know I just do a casual grope, but we got to do some kind of, like, stupid crossover battle. This whole thing has one of the strangest edits where I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Just... Oh, no, it's the Blinker, and then he... What? What? <laughs> he <laughs> covers him with his... from bl- the frame. Hey, no, he covers him with his Blinker blanket, and he blinks to steal his soul. Guys, oh. I actually just gave you continuity for this. Yeah, um, so now you know what happens. And then that's about it for the whole series for uh, that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the grope is gone. So we, it's so funny us. for us watching this because we don't have any sound. We're just <laughs> security footage. Oh my god! This was actually this is this it's, one's okay. It's 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 pretty good. Like some of the security footage actually looks pretty realistic. Some of it's a bit over the top. Like that, he would have seen that. Yeah. And if I feel like remaking this, guys, but just having like a majority of not much security footage, like I mean cameras. Hmm. So it's not yeah. just like he has fucking forty cameras in one li- like. Um, path. <laughs> like, yeah, there's like ten. Yeah. Just like lined up. It's so dumb. Um, but and no, if you no, if you're like um going to nitpick it a lot, you can notice that the time is going really slowly. Yeah. So like this guy must be ha- this guy must have super speed. Like he it's, gets up the stairs in like one second. It's a cool concept. I'm gonna remake this, but I'm still gonna make it a short film. It probably deal. Forty eight seconds. For, so forty nine, fifty seconds. Yeah, no, he's already there. <laughs> he just walks that fast, guys. Now, what? see, this actually looks like a security camera. All right. This is a good angle, and, and then you'll see the next you'll shot. see the next shot, which is yeah, actually a realistic angle. It's really good. The one after this is not really, but I, I, I was gonna remake this, and he was going upstairs. I just have this angle continuously as him walking around. Yeah, it would be more obvious. See that? I like the moving of the camera. Yeah, and that's really cool. And at first, if you notice the glitches don't yeah. they don't line up, and it's. Yeah, like Stupid. they they go before I even hit the camera, like sometimes. But I at first I didn't even have the glitches in, but I was like, eh, I'll see if it like we can add a, like a second of time by dragging it across. If you saw that shot just then, that was James's phone actually falling into a bucket or something. Yeah, it literally <laughs> I had it stalled and I heard the wind coming and I ran, I ran, and it fell into a bucket of water off a freaking <laughs> fence and it survived. Yep, the so water probably made it survive, to be honest. Yeah, which is strange Softer. to say because it's a phone. But yeah, here I am yet again. I don't want to keep explaining everything that's happening or, on the camera. But yeah, it, it's just fun to do that. And also, originally it was supposed to be me, but I was like, eh, it, it's gonna be bad, but not like k- exact same as other movies. Bad, we're just yeah. the same person. Hey, this is where we are right now. There's barely any movies where it's just the same. I don't think any of these movies is the same guy. Like just me and just me. Like, I'm not sure. Like, there was in the first one. Yeah, but there isn't a few, but it's not completely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would have been reacting to this now. It wouldn't have made no, any fucking sense. Yeah, because, like, you literally look the same. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It makes sense, but yeah. All right, so here... So here's, like, the live footage. You here's, saw a Here's the best kill in the movie. Um, this is the only shot with actual blood in it. Yeah. And, and it just it, cuts to a sink. It's so random, This but... was disgusting. I remember him. I remember just so getting him water after this, and he was like, "Yeah, it's not really doing anything." Because it was warm. Like yeah. if it was cold, I would have been able to handle it. But it tasted so gross because it was warm tomato sauce. If I thought you were about the water for a second. No, if you think it is, um, oh, yeah. it's dead. 
If yeah. you think that water belongs, no, I mean, if you think that tomato sauce belongs in a cupboard, you're stupid. It's yeah. No offense. Uh, here's flaming automobile. I love this shot. Yeah. I really want to reuse this like, in other things. <laughs> true. It's really true. Cool. Jesus, your face looks so bright there. Oh yeah, we have an idea um, for reusing. We have an idea saying we're gonna reuse this, but we're not gonna use this as a trailer for other movies. This is a commentary. I like that shot actually. The letterbox or the stepping over the camera one? Both of them. Oh yeah. And then this, we wanted to make it really stupid, like who enters the house. Who, we they, actually had they footage l- of us in a car. They literally broke into our old house. We don't know what happened to the footage of the car. I think we I don't we either deleted it on accident or we chose I think we chose to just get rid of it. I didn't even know you got right. Because I, I remember saying, oh, it looks cooler as the mailbox being the first shot. And I don't even know if you heard me or like you. Yeah, about it. it is cool. And it doesn't matter. And you can see there the doors open, shut, and then shut. It's no what. This is one of the very few times where you're actually driving. Yeah. Uh, here I am, a smoker. Yeah. Got lung cancer. And some of the things in this movie look so dumb. The fact where you see someone turn off a camera like it's not even a movie <laughs> yeah i know it's so funny i like this was i felt like this went on for a lot longer i'm not sure yeah i feel like we found a lot more of this <laughs> that's literally you're dead yeah if you're wondering why it's called a flaming automobile then you um you'll have to you'll, find you'll, out. You'll, you'll literally look you, you turn off the camera there, there you go if you saw it the outline of the car there was like literally three seconds, but you didn't leave it in because your hand was just holding the whole paper for a second. So even though your foot's there, we could have just left it in. But as you can see, we added some texture grain to this for like literally no reason, just because. Yeah, it, well, it, it looked better. It looked better now. Color grading. Yeah. Actually trying. Um, um, and then we got the shittening. I use a lot of color grading on my movie reviews sometimes because lighting is bad. This one. All right. There was originally supposed to be a shit emoji here. The fun fact. Yeah, and um, then I lost that. Some for some yeah. reason it just disappeared from my phone. And the the next shot where well, you see me getting stuck in the toilet. Yeah. I thought we edited it. I thought we trimmed, like cut it, but for some reason it didn't. It cut. didn't it, save. It I didn't don't know. Cut. I might have accidentally not save the crop or something but it, it's, it looks funnier that way because so, it's just nothingness it's just literally the same frame I really hate it yeah like, genuinely I really wish you could have like put something in a toilet and then just like make blood blast out of it yeah just go to like toilet from the tip or something yeah so yeah I've got a, <sighs> I've got a Twin Peaks shirt on here if you're a David Lynch fan I remember when so we you know. first made movies we were scared of even showing logos oh yeah I don't even care like yeah. if they got a problem with it Fine. We're not popular enough for them to actually remove the fucking shirt. It's free promotion, you know. Free promotion, yeah, for a old show. Oh, so God. as you can see here, that yeah, was, it was, was supposed to, to zoom in there. It's supposed to be the toilet, make it crazily. The freezer, a remake of the fridge. If you can't, if you have epilepsy, you probably can't read that. But there's a lot of flashing lights in there. So. <laughs> yeah. And oh. there, by the way, guys, there wasn't even a black spot after the freezer. I just felt like doing that for absolutely no reason. Cool. Just to cut instantly you, you to it. We have Ollie, the dog from Movie Juice. Yeah, we always have it at the start of like one of these movies, just as a joke. Well, because it was at the start of the fridge. Yeah. So we, we wanted to remake just the fridge, but we ended up not using that footage, so we just put it in the freezer instead. Yeah. Something different. It's one of those remakes that's different from the original. And, and I, uh, I, I don't know if I'd call it better. Yeah, the, 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 re- the original's funnier. It's This one's like much shorter and... Yeah. The original one, they're like kind of, we're just chatting, and then I don't know. It's still dumb. It's definitely even dumber than the growth because it's like possible for the growth to be realistic. This is not realistic in any way. It's very stupid, but. It's and it looks like you're pushing my hand in for a second. Yeah, I was trying to like pretend like I was trying to get you out. Yeah, and then. And then I did. And then you did. And then I, you see my. <laughs> and then I, when I was editing this, I actually like when I was watching this back, I thought. Oh Oh no, I accidentally left the part where we opened the fridge together open, and I was like, fuck. But actually, I remember that I did this on purpose, that I just did that. Yeah, yeah. And then I <coughs> shut it in slow motion. Oh man. Oh no, not the eggs, there's eggs! And then here we have my brainchild that I made. Yeah. It's very amazing. Um, yep. <laughs> so I, I came up with this, and it's... I think it's kind of funny. 
I could yeah. have said "Oh my God" for a lot longer. Yeah. But I think it goes on for just just the right length. Just the right length of "Oh my God." When this guy finds out that he's actually dead the whole time. Yeah. That's not an original thing, but the way we and we wanted we... to do a quick zoom in, but I thought it looked better like that. Especially because it's all over the place. Yeah. Like I did this "Oh my God" for like fifteen seconds, probably shorter, but it felt yeah. like a lot longer. And then my head, my brain just burst inside my. My brain. Yeah. My <laughs> now we got the shortest one out of all of them. It's, I believe this is the shortest. It's one of the worst. <laughs> and it it's, makes no sense. I think no. This is shorter than the grass. Oh man, the grass. And I'm saying like that. I don't think the fans are, but as I you, didn't you even can obvi- you can obviously tell I'm turning the fan on right now. When I was filming this, I didn't even know what was happening. Yeah. Well, I thought. Wait, did he get his head cut off or did he get blown back? I got blown back and killed by the fan. That's the whole thing. That just wasn't at the right camera angle, but we didn't reshoot it because it's the fan. So. Yeah. Time to get sucked. Yeah, this is not sexual on purpose. There is so... No, it was. Oh, uh, well... Well, not the title card. Like, the things we said, and the, I didn't even notice after. Yeah, the things, and the we, things that you say. We left the gaps in here, and it was so awkward and funny. We're just staring at the camera for, like, a solid while. Oh, man. Like, yeah, this is... I wanted to copy, like, some random thing. But... Yeah. Um, and then you see yeah. me dancing there. Just, just um, vacuuming, just sucking around, you know. Yeah. Um, and here I am. This is a film on a different phone. You can obviously tell the lighting just instantly changes. Yeah, like we took like three I sent takes this through Instagram, and it for some yeah. reason trimmed all of the footage. And it also makes it really bad quality. So if so you're wondering like, why girl. it says, if, if you're wondering it says, girl, girl will never die, die, it's actually the sucker will never die. The sucker. Yeah. Or something like that. Or the... You say, time to get sucked. Yeah. But, yeah, so a, a lot of this was cut out, and also, it, when you send it over Instagram, it just downs the quality so much. Yeah. The only reason we filmed this was because my phone was literally charging. We used, like, 100% of my phone battery because we felt like filming heaps of it and just getting it done. I just used most of my phone's battery. Yeah. So you just literally die there, and then I make a vacuum sound. Uh, it sounds realistic, so you probably can tell, but, yeah. And then Gerda gets sucked, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, and I, will never die. we took like three takes of you saying, oh no, not the, the, sweeping. Not the vacuum or something for the last one, oh, Be- yeah. because we, he kept saying the sweeper, because oh, no, we were getting these movies confused. the super sucker. Yeah, we, it, originally he said, oh no, it's the sweeper, so we had to take like three cuts. Yeah. So, even though it's, we could have just said that and left it in, because it would be funny, but whatever. So, the sweeper. And then he, you see, what? I love the aspect ratio change, because yeah. it really suits it. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Then you just, so this guy's very calm about getting yeah. broken into. Like, the guy who's breaking into the house, who's played by me, is just like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, For some reason. I'm just like, you're literally breaking into my house. And then that was really funny. And it looks like you're about to die there, eh? It looks like you're about to fall over, but then you just keep running. Yeah, I know. You just keep running, and then one of the best things ever happens in a second. This is what happens when you run out of ideas, and yeah. you want to make something over an hour. Yeah. Um. <laughs> we wanted to make, the thing was, we wanted to make this fun, but like, feature length, which is yeah. very hard with a bad thing like this. Yeah. I hate it when you like film something that's not even a movie and it's accidentally ages. Like, I always film vlogs from my other channels, guys. Exactly. And it's like 40 <laughs> minutes on accident. And we make this, it's like 5 minutes, we're like, what? <laughs> How? Exactly. It's just really pisses me off. So here I go, right? So if you see, this is, this is a slight reference to a show called Twin Peaks, but also just, it's hilarious in its own right. Yeah. When this guy dies, he gets sweeped, right? Yeah, but then he gets unsweeped. And then, oh, what? what? The sweeper literally what? walks away from him. He's like, alright, you're cool now. So. Oh, it looks like you're running away from him again. <laughs> but this time you're running back into the house. Yeah. If you watch this without sound, it actually looks kind of real. Except for sometimes when you move your mouth, it looks like you're just breathing in air. And how I got up without... Yeah. Um, well, like, from this point on, it looks like you're just breathing really weirdly. And my hair's, like, moving in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I, d- I haven't even noticed that, honestly. It's gross because you can see his freaking like, throat for like three seconds if you've got good eyes. Can you see that my tonsils have been removed? Can you see up? Can you see yeah. that far? Cringe. <laughs> oh man, this is. And then. Yeah. And see, then, my hair is yeah. moving unnaturally. So I'm going back into the house. <laughs> yeah, now this looks fake. You, 
After he died, he, he reversed. He reversed time. And, yeah. then, and then there's just this, which we filmed for like no reason. And then we're like, you know what? Leave the staring at camera thing. <laughs> it's funny because a lot of the actual good stuff, when you think I say something trippy, it's just me saying, are you done yet? Or something like that. Yeah, it's just like, uh, or slow down yeah. at first or something. So this is the grass and it's dumb. This is what happens when you have no special effects. This is probably like the second shortest we've made. Um, Apart from the one where we hit the door. And that's that's yeah. next, actually. That's not even a short film, that's just random. Yeah. I just, we, like, I we just didn't, wanted to film that. We didn't even make a title card for that. We're just like, oh, it adds like a few seconds or so. Yeah. Guys, yeah, you want to see the extra extended edition one day? Or add like the extra like With one, the last minute? The something. last minute of footage? That'd be cool. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a special feature, just one minute of footage that wasn't shown. <laughs> or that's just deleted scenes and shit. You just so, chuck it in there. So here we go. You literally see me walk back. That was the worst one. That was a bad one because, like, yeah. it was too slow. This is the best one. And then I went you... to go delete one. And he was like, no, 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 no. Keep them both in. I was like, all right, then. And then, <laughs> and then yeah. The hood man. Oh, this one. By is... the way, guys, you... I thought there was a bigger gap between, like, the things. And I thought it would be really awkward. at like, three seconds of nothing, then another title card. But it feels much shorter when you're actually watching it. Yeah. And then this is the hood man, which it's, we didn't actually know what we're doing. We didn't even know. We were just sitting. We just there. improvised the. Well, but we've I, improvised everything, but this is on the spot improvisation. We're like, they were like, yeah, one of us is just gonna kill one of us. I was like, oh. Yeah, I just. And then I was know. about to steal the knife from you and like go towards you, but then you just pulled it on me. I was like, I guess I'm getting killed this time. And we just. I just came up with something like, yeah. I'm not actually a person. I'm a hood man. Yeah. Hood man. Whoa, champion of the hood man. If you're always sunny fan, you'll get that reference. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I just start slicing this guy up. It, it's so stupid. This is probably the dumbest one because, yeah. if you don't know, hood men they 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 run Bimpo. They run the town. Yeah. They're like a secret society, like a cult or something. Yeah. If you look in the background of uh, Stanley Kubrick's last film, Eyes Wide Shut, if you look in the orgy scene, then you will see the hood men. <laughs> look in the very far left. Um, just to the shot in, where, in, when they're in the circle, that's when you'll see Hood Man. Of course I'm joking, but maybe. Could be. He as could be he, Hood Man. And then as he's running, even though the... I guess you got through because I opened the gate, but usually gates are his weaknesses. Yeah, because um, <laughs> gates are Hood Man's weaknesses, so... <laughs> You can't open gates. And then we just left this photo in. I don't even know how you took a photo. But... When we watched this, I actually thought it would lag because I forgot yeah. you did that. And then we just used this because we the phone ran out of charge. So, so we, 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 we filled it again. But we're like, you know what? Eh. Whatever. We're trying to so, make this over an hour long. It's so funny. So yeah, the hood man. The hood man gives this guy a head start because he's nice like that. Obviously. Yeah. And then he does this. <laughs> what the hell? I'm just imagining the, like the the choices that these me guys make in their brains. So, like, yeah, this is so stupid. Like, watch this. I'll give you a head start. I don't understand. I mean, <laughs> why am I saying watch this if you've seen the movie, every you know killer in these movies is complete retards? I swear. This, this is a very stupid movie. <laughs> no offense. Oh, lucky he closed the gate because <laughs> he can't get in. And I didn't even know that at that time. I just felt like shutting it. So here's the power. Okay, so he can't go through gates, but he can teleport. So what? Why did he run back? If, His so weakness is if hood that's man, so dumb. If hood man stands still and then turn to the right, then they can teleport. That's the power. So as you can see, but then there's another fence, so he's gonna have to teleport there. But you know what? He doesn't stand. He opens. He just. He just. Uh, I don't even know. What's he do? He he uh, he probably just teleports. I think. I'm pretty sure he teleports again. I can't even remember. And I watched this like t two hours ago. Yeah. He's just, yeah, he's just casually sitting there like my weakness. And then I'm pretty sure the next frame he does not there. He's like, it's tough being a hood man. And, and then, then he just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he, I think, I think he teleported he just, off screen. Yeah, right. okay, cool. And then that's just me on a bike. I thought you'd walk past me and that would have been really funny. <laughs> oh, it's just a biker. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, you just see my hair it's so, you, and the knife. It's so funny. Oh, this is stupid. So yeah, hood man. Yep, okay. Alright, alright, you can go away now, Hoodman, please. Um, this is how Hoodman are made, actually. They just put their hood over anything and becomes a Hoodman. A bit off topic, but one day we've got to make an original Horace and Midler commentary. Oh. It'll just be us complaining the entire time. Like. Yeah, we'll, we'll just be talking about Wide Boy. It doesn't matter, it's still we got to make it for some kind of DVD. Be cool. 
Yeah. Alright, so as you can see here, it's like, are we going to count this as a kill? No. <laughs> it's just, no meaning of the killer no, because, he's a because he, he kill isn't, I can't even read that. It's just because he is known. Um, but yeah, you get a juicy leg shot of my epic dummy thick thighs. This is the worst one. This is the worst one, because I yeah. hate it. It says, I'll suck your cock in too. Yeah. I'm scared of what that means. I'm really <laughs> and the worried. last words he says, like, I'll suck your cock and I just step on you. Like, yeah, that just... that's it. That's the end of it, because we literally didn't know we were By the way, guys, like, how about we just film this? in this? This is the Gardener 2. Yeah. What do you, what do you say, spoiling? I was saying no spoilers, guys, because it's a fucking commentary, so. Yeah, this is stupid. Like, we're just filming, oh, we can make Soil 2 or the Gardener 2 or something. So then we just filmed in the backyard and it turned into the gnomoning of the gnome who kills because he's a gnome. And there was so much ants in that gnome, we both got destroyed by ants. Yeah, I almost died of ant poisoning. Was in hospital and as you can see there, he looks in that bed. direction, but he goes in that direction. There's no standard direction in this movie, so... I was, I was in a hospital bed for ten years because of that. This this movie took um, three decades to make. Yeah. That's why my hair's long in this shot, and then my, then my hair's short later on in the movie. Cause yeah. That's, th that that's was 32 years you can You can tell when the difference is, because this is all still the same day, guys. The first, what is it, 36 minutes? This is on... For, well, longer than that. This is last Saturday. Yeah, so it took then, us two Saturdays to do it. Oh, and no, I have a white shirt, though, so there must have been Sunday. Yeah. Either one, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, because you came over the next day. Yeah. Yeah, some, so this is, like, about... This movie took, like, a week. Two and a half days. This movie took a week to make. <laughs> and then the gnome changes, and he's Scottish, because he's a gnome. He's a menace. So, leprechauns are Irish, and gnomes are Scottish, apparently. Which I think... I don't even yeah. And as you can see, this is like definitely the dumbest. It's the worst one. I hate yeah. it. I hate it. And then, <laughs> I don't so know, this bad. is just so funny. And you can see, if you look closely, I'm still holding the swooper bird just in my hand. Casually. Yeah, I don't know why you were holding that. You were yeah. holding it as well on the hood. It's because man. you threw it in the ground. This is straight after we filled the hood, man. And you threw it on the ground, so I picked it up. Oh. And we just ran off. Because I didn't want to just leave it there, I don't know, because it started, like, I think it was about to rain. Even so. though we. We're filming something. Yeah, I just grabbed it. I'll suck your cock in too, laddie. <laughs> that means he'll just, like, break him. And I just start punching him. And I was doing it really softly, but it actually looks like I'm punching him. It's so funny. No. <laughs> it's just no. like going, like, not punching, but just whacking him. And I wasn't even actually... That's it. Yeah. Here's a, here's a good one. Yeah, he has actually stuff does make sense, which does make sense to us, but we're not going to explain we're it. We're not going to explain it. This and, um, ocean... Well, should we water. say... Water, sorry. Well, it's... No, I don't even know what language it's in, because of text, but... I have edited this... Well, he edited this part, the red... Yeah, the we, red, we collaborated with this. He, yeah, yeah, we cool. collaborated. He made all the red part. I changed the colouring and made the other part, but we both filmed, like, percentages of this. I just edited it all together and... It's uh, so out of place, because this <laughs> could have been cool. And this is actually pretty cool. And I think... Um... Water's a bit better, but these are kind of... I'd consider these they're the same thing. They're the same they, thing. They're just the most I'm going to tell you guys is they're connected. I'm not going to tell you what the story... Yeah. What the whole thing is. We're going to pull a David Lynch and just not explain yeah. what they mean, because you don't they, get to know. They, these are the only ones in the whole thing that actually have some kind of meaning, at least. Not that anyone cares about yeah. what they mean. Yeah. Because you might just think it's nonsense, or you're not even yeah. understanding this commentary. Yeah. But, you know... Uh... Yeah, they mean something to us. Yeah. Not much, but it's funny, so... Yeah. I just have... Yeah, I have a really cool idea for what's happening. And it's not what you'd expect. Um, but yeah. So, as you can see, there are a few flashes of light. Um, Very. This... Then, then I feel... Like, we both collaborated on these weird ones. Like, the yeah. artistic, um, surreal stuff. And then we just made a bunch of garbage yeah. in between. Yeah, he just... He filmed these like this part here of me and when he's just walking around and the red part and i put my own thing and i just put them together and this footage by the way it's not a filter red it's actually this red is actually part of the stuff he made but i changed the coloring and put it over oh wait, so this yeah. is like the very end of that oh yeah so I see it flashing. it's like flashing and i edited it and i also uh, changed the color to make it slightly more like lighter red if you oh, notice yeah, that yeah and here i want to make it seem like 
I don't. I can't tell you guys actually. Yeah. I can't say anything, but I like this cool because I mean, it just you can if you want. But... Yeah, I just don't want to. And then whoa, 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 oh my god, you see that, and then it fades, and then you see that. Um, and if you're wondering what I say there, I say, "Are you done?" Yeah, because we. Because I didn't know what you were doing yeah. at that point, so. Now here's the return banana Joe. It goes from a good one to a bad one, guys. This is... Nah, it's good. It's I remember good. we were really scared when we threw a banana on the road because we thought that we were gonna cause like a car accident or some shit. Like yeah. Jude was like, "Oh, oh, what did that actually?" And I was like, "Oh, you know." And then I thought about it. I was like, "Yeah, nah, that's actually bad." And then we just kicked uh, the peels off and shit. And we just left a little bit of banana there, and then you couldn't even see it because the vehicle that hit it was too big to even notice. Got some good memes. If we left the actual banana there, it wouldn't have done anything to that bus, honestly. I don't know. I'm just, I just got some really good memes, honestly. And then here, I was going to say this from the banana's eyes perspective, but oh it's God. still yellow after the banana gets, well, murdered. Spoilers in 30 seconds or what, but yeah, who cares? Yeah, we're, um, we're not going to explain yeah. what's happening right on screen because yeah. that's dumb and you've already said it. Um, yeah. The banana Joe. Seen the original horror from Bimpo. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the weirdest ones from that because it's so stupid. I think this might be not better, or maybe it is because we get to see him die. Maybe, but yeah, I don't know. Because I like the original Bowser because it's so dumb and so funny. Oh my god. But yeah, as you can see right here, it look at first when I was watching this at least without the filter, without the color stuff, it, look, it, it looks like you're just hugging him until you started biting him, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. I mean, he's a very cuddly guy, Banana Joe. He was great on set. I feel he, bad. he was really yeah. nice, though. <laughs> um, he, he got paid the most because... He's actually over there right now he's... watching the commentary of us. Yeah. And then you see that, oh, my ears hurt. I, I Genuinely, there's no sound right now. Watching this sound, that still hurt my ears just from looking at that. Yeah. I can memorise sound effects in this movie without hearing the sound effects. And then that, and then that. If, you, this see, if was... you slow that down, you can see it looks like I'm just turning the page of something. Yeah. I, like... I want to see someone like their like TV to freeze on that exact frame, so they're just stuck like that, or some shit like that. It'd be funny. And I, yeah, I come up with the killer doorbell. This what? Is so dumb. It was just I don't know. It's a, it was a f all right concept, but it made no sense whatsoever. Uh, killer doorbell. Here I come with my Nirvana shirt. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, doorbell. I'm gonna break this down. And, like, what it actually kind of means, but it doesn't really mean. I'll explain it, anyway. Uh, it kind of means, like, when he rings the so, doorbell... So, when he rings the doorbell, and you come up, that thing right there is an electric box that's supposed to kill you, right? And here's what we did. But, at this part, it's not ringing when I get attacked by it, so it makes no sense. And you didn't even touch it. Yeah. You just... You just well, like, it's supposed hand. to just, like, sense your vision and just struck you. But when you come down... No the bell doesn't even ring, and you still get attacked by it. So, no. and, and my body's not there. What I was gonna do in editing, like after I just watched this, I remembered I should have had like someone ring the doorbell while we were doing this to make it just really ironically dumb. Go to um, go yeah. to Juice Gang and subscribe, and then we'll release the the doorbell ring. Cut. Yeah, we'll you, release, you're either we'll watching that. this on our DVD special feature, or you, on Juice Gang, or, or on Juice films. Gang, or Edwards Films. But majority of it, the viewers will be from YouTube. We went up DVD sales, but yeah. if we give it to someone, if we give this to someone, shout out to you. Shout out to the person watching. Uh, so, turns out it, it is just a guy filming because he opens the door. Yeah. Now, what's oh my god? Shade of glass. All right. So this is like the biggest fourth wall break. I'll and if you notice, the, the music end. like is like out of place and stuff. That's it's the because point. the title cards are out of place. So the music was like supposed to be building up as the title cards went down, but the last title cards were the first title cards. Yeah. So it's like, so have we here? We have a fake JJ review, which is our movie channel. But this is probably the biggest fourth wall break we have. Yeah, probably one of the only <laughs> purposeful ones. And then you see that fake thing. I was gonna drag it for longer, but I was like, eh, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, no. So that was just cool to have in there. Um, I sh I'll I'll say that you co-edited this short film. All right. Since that's in there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was editing supervisor for this whole movie. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is so... This is like... I remember I just saw the JJ review sign. I'm like, oh, what if we could self-promote JJ Talk Movies yeah. in the movie? Not that that's a good thing, but it's, it's just funny to me. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, 
But it's called Shades of Glass, which I hate calling it that because it just sounds. It like was actually Shades supposed to be called Killer Sunglasses, but he was mad. He didn't want to do my epic idea name, and I was. I don't, I don't like it's that. It's not a good name. I don't like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and none of these names are good. So. Ah, like... uh, excuse me. What about Banana Joe? Oh no, the Return Banana Joe. <laughs> Yeah, that was, spe- that was a mistake, and I was like, thought he did it on purpose. I'm like, ha, the return of our Joe. And you're like, what? Are you, are you, are you what? Blo- what? I-, I remember you saying, like, can you read? And, I was- and then he looked at you, like, oh. Oh, hang on. Um, so, yeah, this is not how we act in our actual reviews, guys, but honest, obviously, but. So we have this fake. I can't well, believe you gave it a 6 out of 10. We're gonna say this is a Bimpo review. <laughs> I can't believe you gave it a 6 out of 10. Yeah. That's so dumb. I gave it a 1, because this movie. This movie sucks. sucks. So bad. I really your, hope, movie, your movie sucks. I so really hope work. that was in sync with the other list. Done. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. All right. So then you. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. I didn't know it was gonna happen this early, and you just put him on, and I, I wanted to act really casual for absolutely no reason. I was so just like, that was gonna be really dumb. Yeah, but like we're meant to be real people, and you're just going, oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? You probably killed me because you just started pounding my chest, so you probably just broke my. Yeah, your pump. ribs look like they're standing out right now, like it's possessing you, and I'm just like, get in there, get in there. <laughs> I might have just had a, a straight, I might have just had a headache. You might have just had like a heart attack, and I just made it worse by fucking pumping your chest. A heart attack in my eyes. Yeah. What? No, like, like you might have just put them on, and it was like perfect timing. Alright, so, <laughs> and then you see the glasses kill me. I forgot what I said, I say, oh no, the glasses from that movie, or some shit like that, and then... No, I wanted to so oh no the glasses that I've heard about them on Bimpo News. Oh yeah. And as you can see, I wanted to wear glasses just to make it spooky because it's just those glasses that are the killer ones. Oh, and that's straight to this Crush of the Door. I love the the text transitions, they're very cool. And <laughs> and then you're literally here. Hey man. It's so how funny you how doing? you're wearing the Nirvana shirt when it's the door, not even the door shirt. Oh, <laughs> it's oh just, yeah. Yeah. We're actually gonna call it the doors, but with a Z. Yeah, Not yeah, and then mind. we're gonna do that. What was that song we had an idea from? Like, come on, baby, let's do it. My fires. I would just cop no copyright or whatever. Break on yeah. through to the other side. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna add zzz. But yeah. as you can see, what we had that really dumb like multiple angle the other side of the door, and I want to just zoom in on a Jude Cock moment right there, and then goes into this leg. That's child pornography. Yeah, and then I started shutting it. And but then, I cut it out because you could see my hand, and then... I actually, if you watch that full video, I actually lock the door with my hand, which is really dumb, but it happened. The gardener. And then the gardener, <laughs> it's just like that. It doesn't even... What? <laughs> what? The gardener was really fun to film. I remember when we filmed this, we were like, we're basically donors. Yeah. We're basically... I mean, we were hoping to be. This was... This was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, mo- yeah, from well, Banana Joe. Short hair, so from yes. Banana Joe and onward is from yesterday. I always forget that. I have short hair, so you know, yeah, it was from yesterday. And yeah, <laughs> and you can tell because I'm wearing different clothes on this day. What the gardener do? The gardener trim in the bush. And they just like turn. And s- do you purposely like do that where it went like that? Because it actually looked kind of cool, like yeah. ironically cool. Of course I did. And then I dropped the weapon and just felt like doing that. And then, <laughs> yeah. Feedback terror. Do I don't wonder, even know what language that is underneath it. Yeah, I don't even know because I can't read that. But I'm pretty sure it says beanbag terror as well. This is the best. This is the best thing ever. And then there's gaps. So you think it's just normal, but then after this, there's just a gap of nothing. I'm the first guy to do it. I was just wondering if I was just on your beanbag. Are we going to match this with Peter's voice already? It's going to be funny. No, don't. I'm joking. No, don't. Hey, Lois. Stop. I died. In Stop. I, hey, Lois. Stop. Hey, hey Lois. I'm actually going to punch you. You're, the, right. you're gonna hear James scream. Why was that like in time with the voice? <laughs> you can hear James scream. And then I wanted to go around the beanbag like way too many times, and then just spin the phone. But like you already were dead when I was like going crazy and shit. So. Well, you did push it onto me. So. <laughs> oh no. You can literally see my hand push the bean over the bag. No, that was the beanbag. The beanbag. That was the beanbag. Bag. The beanbag was fun to work with as well. Yeah, the beanbag. Uh, she was fun with me sitting on her. Yeah. So. Is that I still feel bad about it because you know, and then I throw my phone because it's you. By the way, I actually threw my phone at that beanbag at that point, and then I wanted to have a heart attack but just not make any noise and just punch my own chest. And then here we go. And then I don't even know why you feel this, but I put a really bad filter on it just to make it like 
I don't know, it's its own thing, I guess. It's my nose. And then you got the light, which actually cuts out, a, like, a middle school early. If you watch the last title card, you see, like, well, second last or something, you see a glimpse of the light title card. <laughs> and then you got the light turn on. The light, this is so stupid. You make it so dumb. Um, and I'm like, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> And then it looks actually looks cool when you put in the photo against the light. Though I might use that for something else. Yeah, that looks good, sort of, but nothing like else. Like we over something else, like a green screen effect over you, something. You change the saturation yeah. or something. Yeah. Because it just. <laughs> See, look. If you watch this, it look, actually looks really like fake. Some of this stuff, mo, mo, some of this stuff is actually visual effects, like on the accident. Like, see that flattering effect that it's doing, like that, right? My uh, GoPro later on, my GoPro was doing that. By itself. Yeah, well, so is my phone. Yeah. Or your phone I was filming. Like, it's not even a visual effect. That's just the light. Oh, well, yeah. No, like, on the GoPro, though, even when I was, like, down here, it was, like, flat. Yeah, I know. But on my phone, it kind of just picks it up when I go close to it. It's just got a different... Lighting's different, I guess. And Here's then the accent. The accenting, which I wanted to call it, and then he called it the accenting, so that's cool. Um, yeah. Because it's not a word, so... What's good about the accenting is you realise you've got 12 minutes left, so... It's good. Finally. And then... <laughs> Yeah, this commentary is pretty fun. It hasn't even felt like I've been here for too long, at least. Oh, my God. So, oh no, it's the Axeman. man. And I actually use, like, part of a deleted scene in a different thing you'll see next up. But that's cool. The last two short films are actually, like, well, the next one's good, and the one after that's, um, it's it's, good. Okay. it's well made, but the, it's just I like the silly. It's silly. it's silly, but the opening's cool. And, like, when the cars are going, you'll see. If, you have, if you're watching this, before the actual movie. I don't know why, but cool, I guess. Yeah, the accenting is stupid. Like, I'm, I know I've said it heaps, so I'll stop saying it, but it's stupid. And then that's it for the accenting, really. Yeah, um, literally. The, yeah, the next is an actual good one, and if you don't know what that says, we don't know, but it says it says water, but we don't know what language that is. That's what I tried to type, so I'm pretty sure it says water, because I was just blindly typing it from where the space is on my English keyboard were on. And there was quite a few of, like, effects that were supposed to be in here, but they just wouldn't work. And it was just a pain trying to save this, because I had this error thing. It was, like, saving it, but only saving up until a certain point, which is, like, when it had this thing on it. Um, and we yeah. have used, like, some great classical pieces, because Mozart and Beethoven, though, amazing. And the, so. I accidentally reused a song from the last one afterwards, but it actually still works fine. Which is fine, though. And if you see a bunch of black, with no, that's usually where music would be. So if there's just a gap at one point, that's not a mess up in our half. But yeah. I mean, no one's going to see what you're talking about. Yeah, that's true. Right. And then you got me, but if you look for a second, it actually looks kind of cool, because you can see me smile when it looks white, like... Right, right now. Look, uh, look at that. That looks really cool. Looks uh, I wanted to add like a flash, and then that's you near a cloud. And I want to use the second half of that video, not just the reuse stuff. That was you actually going into the wall out the front, the hole in the wall. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I know this. But that actually hasn't. This hasn't mean. This is related to the other one. And that hole in the wall actually yeah. met something. Met a lot of things actually. This means a lot of stuff as well. Like really important. Um, and you're never gonna know what it means because we're being pricks. This is, th I like this, and as you can see, there's like this cool spinny effect thing that I, I just did. This makes sense to us, so try and figure out what it means for Some yourself. Some of this is right, but most of it means stuff like that axe thing. This is kind of just cool. Symbolism. That's even though it's a lot of nonsense, this, but whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like I didn't purposely make it like that. Some of this, like I filmed that on purpose, but some of this I kind of made it, and then I after it I was like, yeah, that that that'd be cool for an idea. Yeah. So this is where music would be playing, Mo obviously. Moon Moonlight Sonata, right? Yeah. The first movement of that, which is probably my favourite. Um, but yeah. It's the best. Yeah, it's the best. We've literally got less than 10 minutes left, guys, so that's cool. Um, but, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just waiting for more f f uh, stuff. So that's cool. That's It was actually supposed to be shower footage back then. And now yeah, it's we... it was supposed to go into a shower drain, and the reason why it was black there is because it was supposed to be part of the shower drain. So again, if you subscribe, we will release an extended cut yep. if we can find the footage. Yep. And re-edit the movie. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's no, gonna be I'm just gonna like different. individually release the footage that wasn't in here. I'll just put in like the deleted. No, I'll make a deleted scene and an. Or if we movie. ever release the Mind's Eye and Water together, yeah. then we'll put that in. I'll, I'll find the footage. Trust me, I'll re, I'll re get it. 
Um, and then as you can see here, there's a lot of um, footage. That actually meet this means all the stuff this here. Um, and that flattering effect that it's getting on the light, as I said before, that that just naturally happened, which is really cool. You got yeah. so, you got some nostalgia from before. Thanks and to then digital cameras. You see this, I which is like I ma I actually think this looks really cool. Yeah, I just um, hate how it has the posters in the back background because. Yeah. <laughs> that's, but you, that's if, if you don't watch this movie, you don't notice it until that point though. Yeah. If you just... No, there was a Star Wars thing earlier. Yeah, but we haven't got copyrighted for before, so. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's just kind of annoying, but other than that. I just wasn't gonna take him off the wall for just one quick scene. Yeah, all right, here we go. And last then we got one. the last one, which is the driving the remake, which I think's better than the original. Yeah, because like it's original. got good music and editing. Even though this is, you won't be able to hear anything on the commentary because it's complete muted, but for us and you, but that's what you—that's the reason why you clicked on this. You want to hear us talk about it, or you just found this on YouTube and you were like, "What the fuck? Who's this? What's this?" <laughs> yeah. Um, right. like a majority of people, but you got—I was just filming this when I was coming home one day, and it's just—and it works. And it works really cool. That's actually just a review mirror, and as I zoom out, you can see it's not in front; it's actually behind, and then you see like the light come upon. And when that light was there, that was the same light, like you saw in that last glimpse. Yeah. That went over because you could see it in the mirror, and that's actually well, it's flashing. It's not actually flashing. That's a blur effect that I added in myself. Um, and all this, huh. and then it kind of drags in with that effect. I got a lot of inspiration from Locke. Which is a good movie. Do this, I made about two or three references just in this alone. Um. Like when I'm talking to myself at one point, and, and I'm pretending like I'm still on the phone, which I what well, and stuff like that, and like a lot of this stuff looks like stuff from Locke, where it's showing like footage like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's yeah. This is probably better. What were you doing at the back of this time? Were you like just chill? Just I was just um, calm. We just listening to what I was saying. I was just being very uncomfortable in the back seat. Yeah. I was cramped because like. I'm taller than James, obviously. You didn't want to be in frame or something? Yeah, no. Well, you, you could have just sat there normally, because like, this cuts it off. But Yeah, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't in frame, sure. so I was just cr like crouching down in the back seat. Yeah. Just waiting. I wanted to wait a while, so and I, and I did, obviously, so that's that. And then there's a the last glimpse of footage. I wanted the rest to just be normal. I'm pretty sure the music cuts out, like bit after this to, just for the music to come back in for the final kill of the well the final the final kill the final actual kill of the movie the, the it's cool the fake jimmy mirror commentary i'm not going to count those as kills because they've already they've and, already and there Johnson. yeah because those kills already existed uh, before that i so. like it when the music comes back in because yeah because you think it's like calm and then it just comes back um, it's a bit I'm not gonna say I'm proud of this movie because it yeah. kind of sucks at yeah. the same time. Yeah. But you know, I just it's got some it. cool stuff. It's in just it. got some cool editing. Let's say that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just I don't even know what to say because I can't hear anything right now. But he's just on the phone right now. Half of this, he's just not even on the phone to his wife. He's just talking to himself. Um, yeah, because he's because he's crazy. He's got problems. And I mean, everyone talks to themselves. But like, right? this is like. Bad can talk to yourself, like pretending you're talking to your wife, talking to yourself. He probably doesn't even have a wife, like. Oh wait, I thought he was on the phone. <laughs> he is. Then what are you talking about? Like, like no, I mean like when he says, he's on the phone for a bit, right? But then about halfway through the phone call, when he just has that gap of like nothingness, oh. he just that's when he stopped talking to himself. He's just pretending like he's still on the phone. Yeah. So, he's... so he's currently on acid as well, which he said. Yeah. So. And then I was going like that because I thought you'd do it, and you did. So that was cool. Yeah, I was here, getting bored. Oh, here we go. I was getting bored, so I was like, "Yep, I gotta get killed," which is basically the same kill, but this time you just stare at the camera for a second longer, and I beep the horn. It would have been better if it went on for longer, like you just kept your head on there, but it's still good. Oh man, I love and that. Then you, got, you got that final thing. And then here is. The funniest part of the movie. Yeah, this is where the Jimmy Mirod fake commentary would have been. <laughs> so you've already seen us talking about this. And stuff like this. We've already talked about this. So we're just going to talk about our inspiration for the characters, I guess, or stuff like that. We're going to talk about the commentary. The commentary and the characters. So Jim Jim Jimmy Mirod and Jim Johnson, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. They're two characters. Well, Jimmy Mirod's a re literal idiot. Yeah. Um, and Jim Johnson is the 
owner in quotations yeah. of Edwards Films. Yeah. In the Bimperverse, he, he owns Edwards Films or a company yeah. or something. He has a lot of podcasts and stuff, but um. And he hates Jimmy Mirad because he he's a prick. He Jimmy hates Mirad's Jimmy, but he had to prick. like he had to just deal with him because he he thought Jimmy wouldn't be part of this movie, so it was like I'm stoked. But yeah. then Jimmy kind of just showed up because. He didn't realise His like, agent promised him that Jimmy Mirab wouldn't be involved. Jimmy. And he was. <laughs> By the way, guys, it's so dumb. Because Jimmy's like, eh, someone's, not, someone's making a hard for people too without me. Yeah, but Jimmy actually lived in the house. Yeah. He actually lived in the house, so they can't really do anything, even though it's not his house. But... Um, and we, when we first started commentating, we didn't have like the first part of the movie yet, so we were just yeah, talking over so this. so we just skipped over the Originally, first at first, we didn't have that swooping footage that we wanted to put in there. We were like, nah, we'll just nah. We thought of doing it, we, but then we, we saw, we no, thought, no, But no. then we found the swooping two kills, so we're like, we're not just going to put the kills in there. We're going to have add time. Yeah. And we were really desperate for time at that. We did it basically when we just before we filmed the last, yeah. well, one I of the last I did have this films. commentary idea for a while. I was like, oh, this would be funny if we just repeated that, but like with our fate filmmakers in there. It's basically placed in the order we filmed it except for like the last one. Everything else is filmed in like the order we filmed it pretty much. Mm, sort of. Not really. Yeah. Because yeah. remember we put them after each other? We put the driving remake last. That's it. Yeah. And I, I do like how that's last though because it's... <laughs> and then <laughs> as you see that it's and then... Yeah, Jimmy's... Well, we would have been getting attacked in the commentary right now but this is... No, not yet. Oh, no, oh yeah, yeah. Jim has a rage. When yeah. I say Jim, I was going to say Johnson. Yeah. and uh, Jim Johnson, just played by me, he yeah. just has a rage at because they're like saying yeah. that the time is up on the commentaries. Yeah. And he's just yelling. Yeah. What and J- and Jimmy's just laughing because he doesn't care. He's just... Because he lives there. He lives in yeah. the set house. Yeah, which literally has a studio inside it. So he's just like, oh, yeah, you can't stop me. It's literally my house, but... Because he's a cheapskate prick. Even though it's not his house, he's just living in someone else's set house for free. Yeah, exactly. He must not make any money, man. Like, what the I hell? I mean, he did after this. Yeah, he did, but like, oh my god. And, yeah, this is actually, in the continuity, this was shown at a Bimpo theatre, so. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so here's the end credits. And the end credits, which I used which a bit I... of this in other short films, this, like, sliding effect that he made. Um... And then, as you can see, this is just all the. This people. is the same carpet footage, by the way. Yeah. But I just um. Mess with it and stuff. Yeah, I just use the same red filter as I did from the Mind's Eye thing. Yeah. So director, yep, yeah, we both were the directors of photography. Yeah. Just filming. All of us are camera operators. Uh, I didn't want to repeat the same credits at the end because that's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> um, thanks we... to Dismantopia Taiwan who did the rock music. The yeah. Metal. The Very rest cool. of it was basically just Mozart and, and Beethoven. Wolf. Yeah, Beethoven. Because we just... It's free to use because of how old it is. He didn't have any, like, strikes on that. Because yeah. it's, like, literally so old. So it's good about old music. and Classical music. Yeah. Um, and then instead of doing fade to black like normal, I just left, like, one second of white with, like, a click-sounding thing there. So, yeah, we'll see you all. Thank you for listening to the commentary. Yeah. So... No, let's wait till the end. Yeah. Yeah, bye.